Good evening, and welcome to Creative Broadcasting, the station of unlimited possibilities. Presents Creating Your Seat at the Table with your host, Ashley Little, as she welcomes her guest to the table. Welcome to Creating Your Seat at the Table. I am your host, Ashley Little. A little bit about myself corporate professional by day, entrepreneur by night, three time best selling author. CEO and founder of Ashley Little Enterprises, LLC, owner and creator of Creative Broadcasting, and co-founder and owner of Talk Radio and TV Network, LLP. Tonight, we have an amazing special VIP guest, guest Pastor Kanoe Reynolds. A little bit about her. Kanoe Reynolds is a native of Newport News, Virginia. She now resides in Wardorf, Maryland. She has three handsome sons, Charles, Dante, and Gilum. Trumbull, all on their road to success, and a grandson, Jaden Trumbull, who brings her much joy. As a kingdom entrepreneur for the last 20 years, she has established businesses specializing in health and beauty, fashion, jewelry, and real estate. She is also an author, the CEO and founder of Chat and Chew Ministries, Empowering Women's Chat and Chew Spiritual Care Program, and God's Magnificent Jewels Mentoring Program, and the host of her own gospel talk show, which airs on the WBGR Gospel Network in La Home, Maryland. Feeling the, feeling the hand of God on her life at an early age, she yielded to the will of God as best she knew how. She is a true worshiper, found of God, who exemplifies a life of worship that brings glory to our Father in heaven. She carries a strong mantle of prayer upon her and faith that exceeds the natural. February of 2012. Pastor Kanoe heard the commission of God to start an empowering women's group connecting women all over the world via social media, Monday noon prayer calls, and monthly meet and greet luncheons to keep them reminded of God's amazing promises. No matter what situation they are facing, they can reach their full potential in God with a foundation built on his word. She has experienced effective ministry with many signs and wonders following. Many souls saved and manifested healing wrought by the Holy Ghost. She has become clear of her intercessor's anointing and the prophetic assignment that is upon her life for the body of Christ. God has continued to be faithful, using her to meet believers where they are in their lives, bringing a real related profound message of the power of faith and hope through the word of God. Pastor Kanoe has committed herself to God that he may use her as he needs. She has an internal yes in her heart to serve God anytime and in any way. She truly loves Jesus and shows her love for his redemptive word on the cross by being a true born-again, spirit-filled believer and witness in these last days. October 14, 2016, she received her ordination to the office of prophet with a pastoral call authorized by True Victory Ministries in Hampton, VA. There are many accomplishments and awards that she gives God glory and thanks. Welcome, Wes. Welcome to the show, Pastor Kanoe Reynolds. Well, hello, hello, Miss Ashley. Thank you so much for the warm welcome. Happy you to be are here welcome. today. Yes, I am honored and humbled to be able to interview you on the show. I am so glad to be here. Super excited to uh, bless you guys. Hopefully, encourage and inspire someone on tonight to bring their faith up to another level. Yes, amazing. So please tell us, you have an amazing bio. So please tell us more about your entrepreneur journey. More about my entrepreneur journey. All right. Well, I started over, wow, 30-plus years ago and about 1988, 87, back in Newport News, Virginia, as you shared. That's my native hometown. And uh, I was actually married, married into entrepreneurship. We had a clothing and a music store, and it was in a flea market. And our customers just blessed us tremendously. They really and truly supported us, which gave us the confidence that we needed to know that this was the arena for us. And from there, Uh Ms. Ashley, we took it to another Um, level. Well, I took it to another level and opened up a nail salon, and that was after I graduated. So I was an entrepreneur starting my 12th grade year in high school. 
amazing. So, I mean, it was destined to be, right? It was in your DNA. <laughs> I love yes, it. yes, yes, indeed, yes, indeed. So, Pastor Kanoe, you are the CEO and founder of Chat and Chew Ministry. So, will you please tell our listening audience more about your amazing organization? All right. Well, Chat and Chew Ministries was birthed in 2012 as a women's ministry. And during mm-hmm. that season, God just told me, hey, I need you to encourage my women. Just bring them hope mm-hmm. by sharing mm-hmm. your story. Being a mentor to others as I overcame, just share, 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 and mm-hmm. do what I tell you to do and be obedient and bless the women. So it actually, Chat and Chew Ministries was birthed from what was called being Empowering Women's Chat and Chew. And it was a platform that was birthed via social media on Facebook. And from there, mm-hmm. I started hosting luncheons in the Southern Maryland area at the Waldorf West Library. On a Wednesday, Miss Ashley, in the middle Ooh. of the day, it would awesome. draw so many, in the middle of the week, it would draw so many people that were hungry for finding out who they were created to be and what they were destined to do. And then from there, oh, yeah. it was a prayer call, Miss Ashley, that was 12 noon every Monday. So it was just the way that God was connecting people, how Chat and Chew Ministries was actually birthed. I love it. And I know that, you know, empowering women, Pastor Kanoe, is your word, you know, passion. So what is some advice you would give to women who are struggling with their faith? Women that are struggling with their faith, First mm-hmm. of all, you got to build that firm foundation in the mm-hmm. Word of God. Not just going to church, Ashley. A lot of people think mm-hmm. going to church will do it, and it's just not going to do it. You got to mm-hmm. get that personal relationship with Christ so you can begin to learn who you are and whose you are, and that mm-hmm. is what powers you. That is what actually, excuse me, empowers you, is knowing who you are and whose you are. And from that right there, the motivation of waking up every day knowing that will help your faith level get to the next level. But if you're not there and you don't know who you are and you're not built on that foundation with your personal relationship with Christ, and I tell mm-hmm. people it's a lifestyle. It's a yeah. lifestyle. Yeah. Not yeah. Sunday by Sunday, but it's day by day. Dying to self, being created mm. into the image of Christ and who He's called you to be. I love it. And dying, you know, you said an awesome, awesome things that you just an awesome nuggets, but you know, something that stood out was dying to self, right? And I understand that we're not perfect, and I think that's a lot of things that holds people back because they think they have to be perfect. So, can you speak on that a little bit, Pastor Kanoi? All right. No, you don't have to be perfect. Only God is perfect, but what you do have to be is willing and obedient and ready to believe what you're reading through the word of God. You've got Mm -hmm. to get that firm foundation in that word of God. So it's not about being perfect. It's about Mm -hmm. being willing. And then Mm -hmm. after you're willing, then comes Mm -hmm. your obedience and your confidence. Mm -hmm. So it's not about being perfect, but once you get yourself in the word, you'll begin to know and realize that it's not about being perfect. Mm-hmm. Changing your mindset. Your mindset mm-hmm. begins to shift as yeah. you read the word. Mm-hmm. Yes, that mindset is so important. And that firm foundation, as you have spoken more than once, is so important, right? Because we all yes. have to die for ourselves, <laughs> right? Yes. So we need to, yes. need to read the word for ourselves and understand it, making sure we understand it. So I, I love absolutely. That kind of so you are have an amazing mentoring program called God's Magnificent Jewels. So let's talk about that. Yes, I'm super excited. Actually, I'm gonna let you. Actually, actually, I'm gonna let you know that that is actually being revamped, and that will oh. be relaunched coming <laughs> soon. More to be revealed. So I'm announcing that on your show today. For yes. the first time, yes, indeed. Yes, Big super round of applause. <laughs> yes, super, yes, indeed, yes, indeed. God has been working on me, uh, just mm-hmm. giving me a lot of creativity. 
but um, mm-hmm. the, uh, the, the, the basis of God's Magnificent Jewels program is just um, – holding people accountable. Sometimes we just need someone to hold us accountable through mm-hmm. prayer, through, through you know, praying. It's, it's, it's really about a prayer accountability partner. Just diving mm-hmm. in to your lifestyle to pick and pull out what it is that your purpose to be. Because once you find your purpose, then you find your freedom, then you find your liberty. Yes, yes, yes. And that purpose is so important, right? Because you know, when it's not when it's not your purpose, you know, you'll get tired of it. When it's your purpose, it shows, and it, it, it is something that you're not going to get tired of. It's something that you're going to love to do. So that's absolutely. So, important. so, so I just want to c- congratulate you on your revamp, and I it, I yes. know you have some amazing things in store, and I can't wait to see what God's magnificent jewels is going to do this year. Yes, yes, and yes, and it was a it's it, it's a three month mentoring program. Um, Mm -hmm. where, you know, it's a lot of one-on-ones involved. It's just a lot of accountability because that's what I did not have. I really did not have no one, you know, that was, that was, that had did what it is that they were telling me to do. They could always tell me what to do, but they could, I never saw the fruit of their labor. So when I go in and I mentor, I'm making sure that I'm just sharing my testimony, my story, which is mentoring the next person into there to continue on in their journey. I love that because you're reaching back and pulling forward, Pastor Kenoy. Absolutely. And that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Yes. And you also have an amazing, as part of your Chat and Shoot ministry, you have a spiritual care program. Can you speak on yes, that? Yes, I do. Yes, Miss Ashley, I love it. I love it. So what the spiritual <laughs> program is, because I am a pastor, a lot of people yes. don't go into the four walls of a church. I am a marketplace minister, which means I'm out here in the marketplace. So Mm -hmm. God saw fit to create a spiritual prayer program where it's open 24 hours a day. Uh, You know, we give prayer, we give um, anointings, we give, uh, we can do communion, whatever it is, and I'll come over to where you are to do that with you. I love that. I love that because that's so needed, right? You know, you're it coming is in very there, you're needed. creating you creating this space for them, even if they can't make it to the church, right? We're going to come to you. Yes. We're going to come to them you. Souls. <laughs> yes, mobile, mobile ministry. That's what I'm going to start calling it. I'm your mobile <laughs> pastor. <laughs> yes, you have, you have no excuse. They have no excuse, None. Pastor Kanoa. No None excuse. at all. Yes. Which leaves which leads me to this, and I know because this is something you're passionate about, and I know you're going to be able to help our listeners who are wanting to walk this road because I know this is not an easy road, and this is a road you have to be called on, right? So what is some advice you would give to listeners who want to go into ministry, you know, who feel like that's their calling? Who wants it? You, just, you have to be in tune with the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. I was, that was my assignment. Some people have a desire, and they go to school. Mm -hmm. They go to, you know, Mm -hmm. different schools to get these titles and things like that. But I was not that person. So I was called. It was in my DNA. It was my Mm -hmm. purpose. It was my destiny, a part of my journey to do what it is that I'm doing. So I'm on assignment Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm -hmm. to pastor and love on God's people and also prophetic. I operate in a prophetic uh, office as well. So for those that are thinking, you have to know. You, you understand, right. it's, it's nothing that, okay, I just have a desire to be a doctor. Um, I feel like you are called. It's no doubt right. about it. And one God, once, once he calls you, you got to be obedient. You got to be willing. You got to listen. So if you mm-hmm. are being called listeners, get with someone and get some godly counseling one-on-one yes. so they can help guide you into what it is that the Spirit is showing and telling you. Yes, yes. And I, and I think it's important that they get with someone who's already walked that road, correct, Pastor Kanoi? Somebody that, that's been there, done that, that can give them that sound advice. Because some, I think sometimes people go to the wrong people or people who are not even, not even, that's not even their lane to get advice. Can you speak on that? Yes, that's why I, you know, 
you have to walk by the Spirit. You really do, Ashley. You have to use the Holy Spirit as your guide so you will know that you know that you know. And what I like to tell people, a lot of times if a person is not sharing their testimony or have not been down the road that you're trying to go down, you got to travel light. you got to receive what's maybe from you, for you, from the unction of the Holy Spirit, and then leave mm-hmm. the rest, let the rest fall to the ground. Mhm, mhm. It's a mm-hmm. you know what I call it, Ashley. I always tell my mentees and you know just whomever, you got to have a God for them. You can't yes. second guess this thing. If you mm-hmm. know you've been saved and filled with the Holy Ghost, then you got to walk like it. You got to act yeah. like it. You got to talk like it, because the enemy will come and try to kill, steal, and destroy. That is his job. But it's up to us to know that we know that we know who we are and who we are in Christ. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's why you have to have, you have to pray for that discernment too. As you, as you spoke on as well. That's, that's, that's key. That's key. <laughs> that is the key. Discernment. We need it. Pray for it daily. Viewers daily. Yes. 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 Cause you, you know, you've done some amazing things. I want to touch on some of these amazing things you've done, but you're also an author. So let's talk about your books and how we can support and purchase. <laughs> Woohoo! Well, Woo. all right. <laughs> I am a three-time author. I birthed yes. three books within the last three or four years, which I had mm-hmm. no idea that they were even in there until God says, they're in there. Now I need you to bring them out and bless the people. It's all about serving, serving in God's kingdom, serving the people. So my first book, I am a real estate agent by profession. And that was the first book that I launched, and it's Eight Steps to Home Ownership. It's an easy read roadmap for first time home buyers, second time home buyers, investors. It's giving you the eight steps that you need to become a homeowner. The second book came out of my assignment, out of my calling. And that book is called Whatever You Need, God Has Already Provided. It is in His Word. That book. Will anything that you feel, chapter after chapter, Ashley, anything that you feel, want, need, whatever it is, you can turn to that as a guideline. (laughs) Do not replace it with your Bible, but as a guideline, Mm -hmm, a quick, mm -hmm. easy read to go pray those scriptures back to the Father. And then the third book went back to my profession which is to my real estate business partners. And that book is called Prayers and Verses for Successful Real Estate Partners. And I've also learned from a lot of people that that can also be read and understood and enjoyed by leaders as well, instead of just people in the real estate profession. But to take a look at those books, yeah, to take a look at those books, you can visit uh, my website, and that's www dot books by Kenoe dot com. Please go and support Pastor Kenoe. He he's amazing. As you can see, she she has a lot of awesome talent. So please support her and go get her books. And speaking about her as this awesome, you know, awesome person that you are in real estate, what are some strategies, Pastor Kenoe, you would give to listeners who are preparing to be homeowners? Because I think some people are afraid of the process and some people just don't know the process. Absolutely. Well, your first step will be get the credit right. Check to see what your credit score is. That's always the first step. You want to see your credit worthiness. And then after Mm -hmm. you find out where your credit is, go get pre-approved. That's your budget. Mm -hmm. That's your buying power. And then come and find me. But... (laughs) (laughs) You don't have to do it in that order because I can assist you with you know, your credit, and then introduce you to some lenders so we can get you a budget. So I just always tell people, you know, prepare yourself, first of all, by reaching out and getting my book. I think mm-hmm. that'll mm-hmm. really get you prepared. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Those yeah. are those eight steps. But it's always credit, though. You want to see what yeah. your credit is. You want to check that credit and then get that pre-approval because that is your budget and your buying power. 
So, and I know credit is so important when it comes to home ownership, when it comes to anything. Credit is that's, 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 that's your money. So what are some uh, strategies you would give to listeners who are, who are struggling right now with their credit, trying to get it together? They want to be homeowners, but they just can't. They, they don't know where to start. They're very discouraged because they don't have the best credit, right? But they, you know, they don't know who know where to start. So what is something you would give to that listener that, you know, needs some help in that area? Need some help? You have to go to the person that is good in that area, and that's a credit specialist, someone that can help you. What they'll do is actually they'll pull their credit and let them know exactly what it is that they need to do. Don't try to do it on your own because what we think we need to do is actually a lot of times just the opposite. So my main thing with that, I don't really have many strategies. It's just mm-hmm. you want to go to that person that is can help you uh, take a look at your credit report and show you exactly what it is that you need to do to clean it up and which way you need to go. So a financial planner can do that. A lot of the lenders can do that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Really and, no you know, strategies what... on that one, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. So for our people that are looking to go into home ownership, just do it. You know, whatever you need to do to prepare, but you come find Pastor Kanoa once you get everything together as far as your credit and it's pre-approved. So that, those are the steps to uh, step out there and get it done. So, Pastor Kanoa, you're doing some amazing things as we spoke about tonight. So how did you create your seat at the table? How did I create my seat at the table? My Lord, have yes. mercy. I'm going to be <laughs> honest, Ashley. It's, it's, it's the grace of God. I'm a, I'm a, you know, I just, I took it, I took it serious. Everything that he gives me in my hand to do, I take it serious to serve and love on his people. Whoever I come across, whatever, whatever I'm doing, I'm in service like mm-hmm. I'm serving the Lord. And that has just worked for me, being rooted and grounded in his word, transforming my mind into his mm-hmm. word and not what CNN is saying. Walking in the most love that I can, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and, it, and, mm-hmm. and, and, and and it has worked even through entrepreneurship. I base my business on the Word of God. I love it. And you know, another thing outside of definitely putting God first, but serving. You know, that's the, that's the key thing to success. And I serving. think a lot of people don't understand that. You know, uh, they want the quick way, but you you got to serve first. You got to serve yes. first. Can you speak on it a little bit more, Pastor Kanoa? Because I I think some people, you know, in many different age groups, are kind of confused on that at some point. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. If you can. Mm root that and undergird yourself with that before you walk out the house every day, your life will drastically change. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Doing unto others as you would have them do unto you, that's a, that is a powerful scripture that people overlook. And yeah. It works. Mm-hmm. And casting mm-hmm. your cares daily on the Lord, scripture works. There is power in scripture. And if people would just stop reading it and quoting it and actually believing it and praying God back his word, it will not return unto him void. That should be the foundation of every single entrepreneur. Whatever it is that you're doing, your nine to five, undergird it with the word of God. Renew your mind in the word of God daily and watch your mm-hmm. whole lifestyle shift. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can't stress mm-hmm. it enough, Ashley. It has worked for me. That is what I do. And when it's your time to shine, can't nobody dull your light because it's the favor of God that goes before you. And mm-hmm. no man can stop mm-hmm. that. I Absolutely. don't think it was a time, Ashley, that I don't think it's a time that I've ever tried to do it on my own because I knew I couldn't. Mm-hmm. I watched too many people around me. You know how I learn a lot is by other people's mistakes. Yes, yes. A lot of times mm-hmm. I watch what they've done and know not to do that. There's no need mm-hmm. to recreate the system. Just don't do right. what they just did and undergird yourself in the word of God. And that's why it's always important to we always remain a student. You just spoke that pretty much in everything you said. Remain a student, right? And, you know, by you seeing what other people have done, definitely putting, you know, putting God first and, you know, studying him daily, but, 
watching what other people are doing too. You're right. Because that can stop you from making some, some of those same mistakes if you just pay attention mm-hmm. and remain a student. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. And remain humble too, Ashley. Humble, yes. my goodness. Being humble will take you a long way, a very yes. long way. And I always mm-hmm. like to say, you know, remain teachable, leadable, coachable, and trainable. It's not about mm-hmm. you anyway. It's about right. the people that you're here to serve. It's about the mm-hmm. people that's blessing your atmosphere. You're the light yeah. that shines so brightly. Mm-hmm. It, that's why it's so important for us to chase the impact. Yes, I love that. Yes, ma'am. So everybody has a journey, right, on our, on our road to success. So what did failure teach you? What not to do. And don't do it again. Mm-hmm. That's why I say I learn from a lot of people's mistakes. Mm -hmm. So if I'm walking Mm -hmm. alongside you, everybody comes in your life for a reason and a season, but it's up to you that that word that you said earlier, discern. Discern why they're there. Take ownership of your life. It's okay. Everybody can't go with you from season to season. So when people enter your life, you have to discern why they're here and Mm -hmm. what it is Mm -hmm. that God wants me to learn from them, not Mm -hmm. take from them. Mm -hmm. What is it that God wants me to learn from them? Take that and apply it to your life as your unction to do so. And you said something so key. Uh Uh-huh. Go ahead. Everybody can't go with you from season to season. Now, continue to speak on that, Pastor Fenor, because I think a lot of people, we get upset, we get mad when people walk away, but they're just not part of the next part of your life. And I think when people learn that, we can move forward. (laughs) Can you speak on that some more? (laughs) Absolutely. A lot of times people aren't growing where they're going because they have things that that they're trying to take with them. That A lot of times I tell people this. Let me just say this. The very thing that you're trying to hold on to nine times out of ten is the thing that God is trying to get away from you. Because ultimately, God is going to get the glory out of your story. So if you're mm-hmm. with someone that is a glory hall, and that is going to be able to say, I did this and I did that. God is a jealous God, so they're not going with you. And we got mm-hmm. to take it back to the beginning of the discernment. What am I here to learn from that person? Mm-hmm. Is this a long season or is this a short season? We have to mm-hmm. get in control of our lives. You know what I mean? It's like once you're in control of your life and you know that, a lot of the confusion the enemy can't even get in because your mind is no longer his playground. So he go ahead to somebody else. Yep. What is it for me to learn from them? For all of our listeners, we ought to always look at that and see if they're a long season or a short mm-hmm. season. Pastor Kanoe, mm-hmm. I love that. I love that. So what did success teach you? Say that again, Ashley. The what, did, what did success teach you? What does success teach? teach? Well, you know what? It still teaches me every day. (laughs) So success teaches me how to remain humble. I'm going to be honest with you. It's something about humility and how to serve. Staying humble. That's that's part of it, right? Staying staying humble and serving. And serving. I always say a true successful leader is one who reaches back and pulls it forward. That's a successful leader. (laughs) Yes. So what can we expect from the amazing Pastor Kanoe Reynolds the rest of 2019? Because you have done some amazing things starting this year off. What can we expect from you the rest of? We know the, the, the God Magnificent Jewels program is getting ready to be revamped. What are some other things that you have in store? Well, actually, you know, it's a lot of stuff that will be revealed. I really can't share, but I'm a okay. part right now of some great things. At the WBGR Gospel Network, I have my own talk show, gospel talk okay. show that airs Monday, Facebook Live. So we'll continue on with that. And I partner with a great uh, ministry called Kingdom Empowerment. I will be um, participating in uh, 100 Kingdom Women on Fire for Jesus, July the 20th, here in the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area. Amazing. It's a lot, Ashley. They have to follow me. They just they have to find me and follow me because God is launching stuff day by day. He's planting seeds day by day. And I didn't give out my ministry uh, a website. 
So if you want to keep okay. in contact with me, the best way to do that is to go to my website, and that's www.kanoe. And let me spell that for everyone, K-A-N-O-E-E, Reynolds, R-E-Y-N-O-L-D-S dot com. And how can listeners be a guest on your show and support your show as well? They can support the show. All of the replays will be on their website, and it will be uh, detailed instruction on how they can view the show live. But if you go by the WBGR Gospel Network's Facebook page, that's the best way to get a notification every Monday, 12 noon Eastern time. Okay. And as far as being a guest on my show, mm-hmm. send me an email on the contact page of the website and let me know that you're interested and we can start dialoguing from there. Amazing. Well, Pastor Kanoi, it has been an amazing interview this evening, and I would like to thank you for taking the time out of your very, very busy schedule to come to the table today, and I can't wait to invite you back before the end of the year. Good God bless you. It's been a blessing being here, and I love you so much, and good God bless your viewers. Thank you. Love you too. Thank you. All right. So I would like to give a special thanks to Tammy Collins Marquis and John Schamberger. I would also like to give a special thanks to author Kimberly McLemore. You all may follow me on Facebook at Ashley Little and on Instagram at underscore Ashley A. Little. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Creating Your Seat at the Table, where Ashley speaks with corporate professionals, celebrities, entrepreneurs, authors, and speakers who are transitioning or have transitioned to entrepreneurship. 